Welcome back to our continuing coverage of Tropical Storm Debbie. This nonstop rain making system has put flood prone areas under a lot of water. Action Air One was over Shore Acres in Pinellas County this afternoon, where some places have as much as five feet of water. Jacqueline Inglis joins us live from there now. Jacqueline? I'm here at 40th Avenue and Shore Acres, and I want you to go ahead and take a look behind me and around me. This is what people in this community are dealing with. They are absolutely under about two feet of water here in this intersection. You can see as I wade through here, it's almost like this isn't a main thoroughfare, but rather the shallow end of a swimming pool. And while you may be at home and hearing, pitch, hearing about this, seeing pictures of it, and want to come out here and see it with your own eyes, neighbors here are saying that that is a bad idea, and if you do that, you're only hurting the people that live here, not helping the situation. This Shore Acres family is dealing with flooding one step at a time. It's not easy trudging out, you know, through the knee-deep water. On vacation, when Tropical Storm Debbie hit, the Voltenbergs came home to find havoc. We couldn't bring the car back home that has all the diapers and the rest of the food, so we have to, we have to go out and get food and diapers right now. Those daring to drive are stalling out or making waves. Patrick Ryan is watching those risk takers and wants no part of getting behind the wheel. We're, we're like five feet under, so it was like a fishbowl here. Ryan is giving rides on his kayak. When we caught up with him, he was picking up a friend. Unfortunately, his ride is only a two-seater, leaving returning residents to wade to what is left of their houses. We're going to get the cat, and hopefully with low tide, we won't... We'll get some headway and at least the water will go down a little bit. Wendy Arnold is hoping her cat Ariel is still alive. But as she deals with grown up stuff, nine year old Emma Bennett is finding fun in all the flooding. It's funny and some people down at the other the other streets were like taking pictures. Like a a, a truck literally stopped and took pictures. And I'm like, I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> Frustration in this community is mounting because of these onlookers. That's because when drivers come through here and they plow through the water, it sends waves just rippling and smashing into people's doors. That is making the flooding a lot worse. As one neighbor told me, if you're a sightseer, you want to stay at home, and he's asking his neighbors not to get behind the wheel of their cars unless it is absolutely necessary. We are live in Shore Acres, Jacqueline Inglis, ABC Action News.